Okay. Well, listen, y'all are all kind to come out, and uh, today is a really special day. I thank Wally, I thank Butch, I thank, you know, our Commissioner Roswell. I thank all those that are connected or in any way tied to helping serve and help our seniors. You know, if you just think about, just think about this just a second, because I'm always the person that just, I talk with no notes, I just talk from my heart, and I just try to tell you exactly the way I think it is. Think about what 43 vehicles now, 27 today, 16, I think we did the other go round. Think about just how important that is to somebody that somebody is delivering a warm meal to and somebody gets to see a smiling face and not only have the warm meal, but it is so critical, so critical to people that in many cases are being lost and left just without attention and without love and they've given so much over all the years and it's it's especially especially incredibly difficult today because look at all of you look at me you know wearing mask look at how difficult it is for a senior person that would maybe be alone to decide if even if they could drive to go to the store Think how afraid that they would be, you know, to possibly, you know, get this dreaded disease that we have, that, we're, that we live with right now. So I thank you, Wally. I thank you, Butch. I thank all of y'all for all you're doing because this is good stuff. I mean, I don't blow smoke at anybody. I don't have time to do it in my life and everything. It's tough enough dealing with all the stuff that I've got to deal with every day. But I thank you. I really mean that. And Commissioner Roswell, I thank you, thank you, and I thank all of you for just all you're doing. It is so important, so important to so many. Absolutely, meals on wheels. It is, you know, it is the very thing that I committed all those resources in the state of the state to and put a stake in the sand that said, by God, we're not going to forget those that have given so much to us, and we're not going to walk off and leave them, and especially leave them hungry. So, uh, anyway, again, I thank all of you so much, and, and I'm going to pass to you, sir. Come ahead. Thank you. Get all suited up here. Thank you, Governor Justice. Uh, it is a very important day, and I want to thank you for your commitment to the seniors of West Virginia. Today, that commitment to the seniors is showing results. Back in July of 2019, and in your state of the state, as you said, you committed a million dollars to the nutrition program and additional funds for the nutrition home delivered meals wait list. I can tell you today that those funds have made results. We no longer have 800 seniors waiting to get home delivered meals. And today, as you said, we have 43 new vehicles that will be on the road serving the seniors of West Virginia. The Bureau started on this project in July of 2019. It took us a long time to get it all completed. COVA stepped into the middle of our plans. Both the Ford trucking plant 
and the Ford Explorer plant were shut down for COVID and shut down for modernization in order to deal with the COVID on the, on the assembly lines. Four extra months than what it should have taken us to get these vehicles. But they're here and we're anxious to get them all on the road and to have the seniors being served with them. It's a true expression of the dedication of the governor and the legislature to the seniors of West Virginia. I want to thank you on behalf of your staff and you, Governor, and the West Virginia legislature for your continued support to the seniors of West Virginia. At this time, I'd like to bring up two people that will talk to us about who are here today to pick up their vehicles. First, I want to bring up Tim Sammons from Cold Community Action from Mingo County. Uh, I appreciate getting a chance to say how much uh, these vehicles mean to us in Mingo. We have vehicles that have been on the road. Our oldest vehicles are 2004 and our newest are 2009. And we're currently doing uh, roughly 150 mils a day. So on the windy country roads of a lot of our counties and definitely in Mingo, it, it means a lot. So we want to thank the governor, the legislation, uh, the bureau for their support all these years. So this, this will make a big difference in the lives of our seniors. As the governor and the commissioner mentioned, uh, sometimes our meal drivers are, as you all know, uh, are the only person they see that day. So they're not just getting a meal, they're getting human contact and they're getting checked on and they're getting a way to stay in their home safely. So we really do appreciate it, it means a lot. So thank you. Thank you, Jim. Now I wanna bring up Kim Varney. She's representing McDowell County Commission on Aging. Um, in McDowell County, you know, it's a rural little place, so we send out out of two centers about 184 meals. Um, this is really a blessing to get these because we reach so more and more people. So on behalf of McDowell County, uh, thank you, Governor, and thank you, Legislature, for it because it's really going to be appreciated by a lot of seniors. I want to mention one more person. One of my staff people are here today who's had a difficult time. I have with me uh, Brenda Ashworth, who is our purchasing agent, who's been working on this for a long time and has put up with me how many vehicles are at Thornhill, how many vehicles are at the other place, how many, when, when's the last one coming, where are they? Because they came slowly, and I think often sometimes it was the fact that they weren't trucks to transport them in here. But I want to recognize Brenda Ashworth, who's with me, for all the great work she's done for the last about six, seven years, seven months. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it, Governor. And one more time, I want to thank you for all you've done for the seniors of West Virginia. All right. Yes, I want to bring up, bring up Wade to say a few words. Thornhill. It's Wally. Wade's my brother. <laughs> well, thank you everybody for coming out and thanks to you, Governor, for this opportunity to serve West Virginia uh, in the capacity of supplying automobiles. As we are part of food pantries and everything in southern West Virginia, Butch and I know the need and this is going to be awesome because like the Commissioner said, that might be the only person that senior sees, or that hungry person sees in a day. And that visual is huge in the medical industry they're saying is how you feel and whatever you can get them help and everything so with that said it's amazing what this administration has done for our seniors and all that they're doing and and i like to thank you i know you're under a lot of pressure under county by county and sports and everything else but this is huge and thank you for making us uh, part of it Well, I'm, I'm going to wrap it up by just saying just this. You know, there's so many parts to make the whole puzzle go together. All of you are really, really important. And, uh, and you make the wheel turn in many, many ways for all that's going on here 
all that's going on, you know, out there in lots of different ways. I love the fact that, you know, we had a person speak from Mingo, a person speak from McDowell counties. I mean, when it really, when it really boils right down to it, we lose sight of the fact that just how lonely it can be for that person to be there and to just see that smiling face and just think that person that's delivering the meal, not only are they the cook, but then they become the first responder. They, rec they become the best friend. They become the kind voice in the dark. And really and truly, it is, it is unbelievable what a service that they provide. And to think that in Mingo County, the two vehicles or the vehicles that we're operating, one is a 2004 model and the other is a 2009 that is only 11 years old, and the other one is older than dirt, and, and, you know, and it snows, and what are we going to do? You know, at the end of the day, in McDowell County, as curvy and as maybe the difficulties that people face with the roads and everything, this right here is going to really, really be good stuff. Now, don't get going so fast that our state police are after you all the time, you know, but, uh, but really, we thank you and we thank our commissioner. We thank all those that are out there that are just, you know, putting in the licks for our seniors and I would say this, I, I can't, I'd be really remiss if I don't say that, please be safe. This is a tough time. You know, for crying out loud, you know, I, I just, uh, you don't sleep, you worry about us being in school, you worry about all the absolute things that go with that, you worry about our teachers and the service personnel, you worry about all of us, don't you? You worry about our kids. And, uh, and so we try. We just keep trying to make it better and better and better. It's tough. It's tough stuff. So I'd, uh, I'd appreciate your prayers for all those out there, but I'd appreciate your prayers for me too because it's really, really tough stuff. But God bless all of you. And again, thank you. Thank you so much. Wally, Butch, thank all of you. This is it's a big day, big day, important day. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you.